walk through, I think those eyes do indeed attack you when your back is turned. Sort of like a boo. Man, that fire is incredibly proficient at hitting you. It is very good at homing in on you. Come on. Do your thing. I'm looking away. Please. I need to hit one of these at least. Eh? Come on, man. Wait, I heard another one. Did I hear the other one shoot fire? I think I heard the, the other one shoot fire. Well, it's... No, maybe not. Maybe it's all in my head, those voices once again. Or Navi. What? Why Why did you shoot fire when I was going towards you? Are you do you only do it when I'm close? Because I'll stay right here. <laughs> Eh. You there. Open the beeper. <laughs> One of you? Any of you? Eh. No. That, oh, that sound that I heard before was just in the uh, music, I can tell. Hmm. Oh, okay, what? <laughs> Okay, they're clearly triggered by me doing something. Is it when I shoot the arrow? Is it when I put the Eye of Truth on or off? When I swing my sword, maybe? Ow. <laughs> Let's try it again. Hmm. Come on. I am seriously puzzled. Eh, eh. Man, that is going to be difficult to do if I really have to do it that fast. Do I have anything in my arsenal that could keep its peeper open? <laughs> or am I supposed to just hit it with a bomb or something like that? Like, I'll just try... No, I didn't think so. Because I thought, like... What is with you? Hmm... It's like, I, I approach it, and then I move away, and then its eye opens. Maybe that's what I'm going to have to do here? See, what is the, the triggering point to make that thing shoot fire? Am I, am I just supposed to wait for it to shoot? Or is it something? That, that just seems improbable because I, I clearly waited on these things before and they didn't do anything because <laughs> I can wait I could wait all day man <laughs> what what I'm supposed to shoot that one so what are the other ones just red herrings? And that one is so let, that me let me guess. That that one is now open. Yep. What? <laughs> and there's no treasure chest in that room. And oh oh no. The creepiest boss in existence. It's dead hand. No. No. Hey, wait, why didn't I hit you? <laughs> that was weird. You grab me. And you will... Okay, you're gonna go back under the ground. Where is... The guy? E. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I guess I had to let him, let him grab me again. No! No! Double hands! <laughs> You come down here, please, and I will slash your head a couple times. That worked out well. And right, right there. Come on. Just put your head down. There you go. Wow. He was a pushover. <laughs> But still incredibly creepy and gross, and you is either the dungeon map or the hover boots. 
I'd bet the dungeon map because I can get across that uh, place with the the tongue without the hover boots. No, it's the hover boots. <laughs> Was not expecting that in the least. Uh, these things, you'll probably want to keep on for the entire dungeon if you can. Uh, they give you a little bit of time to float in the air once you run off an edge, rather than just immediately jumping. I'll show you that once I get to another area. And what? No, that's not bombable. It's not like the bottom of the well. But you know what? Just in case, let's check that over. You just never know with this place. It is a sneaky snake. Mm, no, okay. Just wanted to be sure. But the downside, as I said, no traction. So it makes it feel like you're constantly on ice. But this place isn't that hard, or at least not that I remember. So I should be able to get through it with these slippery boots. And I definitely want to keep, ah, keep them on all the time. That would have happened whether I had the hover boots on or not. Now I'm going to demonstrate the hover boots here by crossing this gap. I don't even need this block now, actually. Stop talking to me, voices! That's how it works, basically. And that gives you just enough time to cross some gaps, rather than uh, you wouldn't no normally be able to jump across some gaps. Now, I'm still looking for a key, and preferably the dungeon map! You explode, please. There we go. A bit. Well, that's another fake wall. It's not a uh, bombable wall like I originally thought. Good to know. So this is either a key or a dungeon map. Uh, hey, these guys are normally invisible, aren't they? These Grim Reaper-like things with the scythes. Um, an easy way to just get <laughs> to avoid that scythe is just to roll underneath it. Even though I'm doing a very bad job, maybe I actually should take off the hover boots for this particular area to give myself a little more traction. There we go. Another way is to try and jump over it if you can. That's not always probable. Anyway, as you can see, the objective is to get the uh, silver rupees. We, we, I mean, I showed you these back at the uh, Dodongo's Cavern. You need to collect five of them to open a place, a door, a thing, something. Just know when you see the silver rupees, you have to collect them. <laughs> uh... Now, what what is that thing that's on the wall here? Is that just a thingy? Can I, like, shoot it? <laughs> I probably can shoot it for something. Mm, guess not. I'm just thinking of like the hover temple, uh, hover temple, the water temple where you had to shoot. Oh, dang it. I keep using the C stick. Just use the Z button, PK Gam. Mm. This room is a lot more treacherous with these uh, fallen logs all over the place. These, well, they're more like masts more than anything, actually. There we go. Yeah, because it, it kind of keeps you away from being able to navigate this room smoothly. Oh! Oh. <laughs> Did I lose all my silver rupees by flopping down here into this new room? I hope I didn't. But that was a mean trap. Yeah, I think I just reset the room. Curses! <laughs> so let's try this from the top. What is this? This wall, it's saying something. It says, if you want to see a fairy to the other world, come here. Oh. It's, uh, it's hinting of the trap. <laughs> well, I'll be back down there later once I get these silver rupees again. <laughs> but this room isn't that hard. Or at least as hard as I was making it seem. But as I was saying, what you can do if you're about to be hit by one of those scythes is to roll underneath it. I, my timing is just horrible. Look at that. See, it's not that hard. It's just my timing is terrible for some reason today. Um, how do I get... Can I, like, climb up there? I don't think I can climb up there. Unless I'm able to shoot Oh, there is a hookshot target over there. I just couldn't see it from that angle. Ah, there we go. Now I can hop. 
You are going down. And I am going to get this ruby. And that was it, apparently. This. Ah, 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 I see. The map is right here. Actually, there's two treasure chests on this floor or room. So, wait, what? Oh, so getting the dungeon map opens that door? Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Usually when you get the dungeon map, it doesn't do anything. It, it, usually the door opens before you get the dungeon map. But what? I'm looking for... Oh, pff, my timing is off once again. Eh? Eh? I'm pointing right at the treasure chest. I see that. Am I... Is it... I don't... Where is the other treasure chest on this floor? Is it... Is it on... This floor, maybe? No, I already got... The, why? What? <laughs> Am I... Is it the treasure chest invisible? Because once I go down here, yeah, the floors change. But if I go back up, yeah, what the heck? You see that, right? The treasure chest on the map? Right there in the corner that I am at? Unless it is... Like there's a bombable wall or something around here? <laughs> this is preposterous. Mm. As you can see, the sights don't hurt you when you're on the edge of the room for whatever reason. Even though they hurt you quite profusely when you're in the middle. I... I don't get it. Is that in a totally separate room that I go up to? Oops. Huh. I don't understand. Roll, please. There we go. Well, I guess I'm going down here. <laughs> I... Hmm. Wait, is this it? No, that couldn't be it. Key. Good to know. There is the boat. With an awesome Staffles battle, or at least it was on the original. Wait, wait, I hear... S No, that's a normal Skulltula, not a gold Skulltula. The, the difference in their sounds is that they're a little bit more metallic, the gold ones are. Now, going up to here, will there be another treasure chest once I reach the next floor? No, apparently not. So that treasure chest down there accounts for both floors. That's really odd, to say the least. That is... hmm. I'm not complaining, though. I got the key to uh, this room here now. But, wow. No! Okay. <laughs> anyway. Any surprises around this place? Well, there's you. I'm not happy to see you, but you're not much of a problem. Well, I guess you kind of are annoying. No, 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 no. Good throw. There we go. Um, are these invisible? No, okay. I just wanted to be sure. Oh! What is with you guys and surprising me? <laughs> that is so mean. We got some guillotines here. Or guillotines, whatever the heck it's pronounced. I've heard it pronounced both ways. These aren't hard to get by. You just walk right under them and yeah. But I question if I'm missing something in this room here, because it's like, it's a very high hallway, and yeah, you get the idea. And you just never know in this dungeon if something invisible is going to be there, and I didn't see any treasure chest down that route, so... But you never know, maybe, like... Oh! <laughs> I'd like to destroy you, preferably... No, 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 I want to turn this off. Whoa! <laughs> I keep using that dang seasick, and that's where my issues are here, making me look like a fool. A fool, I tell you. 
but this room has a lot of invisible stuff. Like, see that platform over there just off the left of the circle? See how it sort of appears within your view once you have the Eye of Truth out? Yeah, that's why you want the Eye of Truth out on, in a lot of cases here. And I don't believe I can climb back up there once I get down here. Or at least not by this route. Okay, you can just fall to your death if you like, Mr. Potobu. <laughs> no! No! Please, stop! Have mercy! No! <laughs> no! Wait, I've seen something down here. Ah! 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 What does this do? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Yeah. Yeah. And this opens. What? I don't know. <laughs> uh, safe. Sand safe. Look how freaky it is to jump across there when you don't have the Eye of Truth out. Um. I think I'm going to end off this part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part.